Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The national spotlight is on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Texas Rangers. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you, saying we're going to see a lengthy win streak put to the test. Over the course of a full season, Boog, there are few stretches where a team is clicking offensively, defensively, starting pitching, and bullpen. Right now, this is one of those stretches for this club. Just about ready to go on the hill and coming off a great start, Nathan Evaldi. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Ready to go? Here's a speed threat, Royce Lewis. The pitch. That's in for a strike at 95. And this one is off and running. Swing and a miss. 0-2. And, and the righty deals. Misses outside. One and two to count. One cool nugget on Evaldi. Comes from the same hometown as Nolan Ryan. Both guys from Alvin, Texas. They actually attended the same high school. They didn't meet until 2016. Evaldi pitching for the Yankees. Visited the Astros. And that's when he got a chance to meet the Ryan Express. One out in the top of the first. Number 47 now at the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Evaldi, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a slider, a splitter, and occasionally uses a cutter. And he hits a ground ball right side to first. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Here's Alex Kirilov. In there, and it's 0-1. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Simeon, toss over to first. And that will end the inning. Twins retired in. Here's Leody Tavares. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Going one. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. The 0 2. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. One gone here. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That, that thing that, really got that, in that, on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Righty to the plate. Out there to center. Buxton moves under it. Two down. Seeger stands in now. With three hits so far in the series, and he's knocked in three runs as well. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, oh, still prefer fact. something belt high. That just misses two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That one, 95 to finish him off. So the Rangers back here at the ballpark. Here's Byron Buxton. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. The line to kick the pitch. 
And that's down it away. 0-2 count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And now two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Kicks and deals. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Max Kepler at the plate and a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Now wanted a one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Buxton stands at second with no outs. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. On the ground at first. Next pitch is inside. Now one and two. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. 2-2. Two, two. To the right side. And a base hit. Here comes Buxton flying around third. He's safe. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. One gone runner at first. And here comes Carlos Correa. Aye. That one catches the zone. It's 0 1. Runner, runner, Polanco runner. on the go. Swing oh, and a miss. Right. Throw to second. Ow. Ow! Usually, when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. pitch got it by him for the K bottom of the second here's a big power threat Adolis Garcia the pitch swings through that one for strike one Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Here is Marcus Simeon. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. And it's fouled away. Out to short, Correa. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout's a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. Oh, Jonah good. Heim, the next to hit, takes ball one. Swings and misses. Strike one. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Runner, yes, yes. Simeon runs. Ball misses. Oh, Throw to second. Save! When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. So now the DH spot, Ezekiel Duran. Swing and a miss, oh, and it's 0-1. Nice. 
on the ground to the left. That's the inning. One left for Tech. All set for the start of the inning. And now the Twins catcher, Brian Jeffers. And that's just foul. Jeffers getting the starting catcher, 25 years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. And that one is in for a strike. The pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. Lewis stands in here, tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Twins are set down one, two, three. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Josh Young. Lopez back to work. Bounce to the left side. Throws across the diamond. And a quick out number one. Now the left fielder, Evan Carter. Hitless of the first two games of the series. He's 0 for 8. And that one... Wrapped foul. Carter measures six feet four inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. Usually in center field, but today starting in left. Swings and misses. And the count is 0 and 2. One thing I always felt if I played left field instead of center field was that the ball gets out there to you pretty quick. And the most important play is that ball down the left field line, getting to it, cutting it off, making a strong throw to keep that single instead of turning it into a double. Tavares takes no low second trip to the plate in this one. Pitch misses and the count is two and zero. Oh. And that one fouled off. And he deals. That one fouled off, two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's the two, two. in the air left field Gallo brings it in for the third out so no runs no hit the pitch and there's the strike liner base hit I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Sets him down looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Buxton, batting with one down, takes a strike. 
Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. The 0 2. Here goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Low steps on the bag. That's out number three. One left for Minnesota, but they still lead it one nothing. And welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. The right hitter back to work. That clips the corner. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. That one inside. Ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Ripped on a line to center. And it drops in. But a good job to keep it in front. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Now it's Corey Seager. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Righty delivers. And that is cut on and missed. And a count is 0 and 2. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Next one misses. Going to count 1 and 2. Good eye right there. Low gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. The throw to second, and that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. And now for the Twins, Jorge Polanco. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. And that one hammered Carter. Raging back towards the wall. Racing back some more. And caught on the warning track. Here's Carlos Correa. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Strike two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Tavares makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's Marcus Simeon. 
and the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Correa makes the grab one down. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that one upstairs. The other way. And that's a fair ball. And it bangs up against the wall. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Heim over at first with one away. That's the third. Fair ball. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And he's got a double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Now a great opportunity to at least tie up this game with something like a sack fly or an error in the infield, but another hit to the outfield could absolutely end it. At the belt and fires. That clips the corner. Got him swinging. Huge strike out there. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Here's a tapper towards short. Correa in plenty of time to first. That ends the frame. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. And now for the Twins, Joey Gallo. Here's a strike. Gallo, a former Gold Glove winner, 29 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off oh first base. Lewis at the plate now. That's ball one. On the ground, could be two. On to Sibian. On to Lowe. It's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Number 47 in the box again. Takes a strike. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Carter settles under it. And that is that. No runs. One. And welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy Laoti Tavares. Pitch is in for a strike. Going one. There's the swing and a miss. Got him swinging. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one. Not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. So all the strikeouts that kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And one and two. and misses it's a strikeout Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter yeah he's been very frugal today economical with the pitch count Seeger at the plate and takes high there definitely a frustrating day for the offense but when they look at it this guy's had his best stuff his paint this one swung on and hit well way back there that one is gone 
Corey Seager leaves the yard. And we're level. It's 1-1. was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now Adolis Garcia. Sliced the other way and foul. That one inside. One ball, one strike. And now two and one after that missed inside. And there's a base hit to left. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. That clips the zone, and the count even one and one. That's down and in. Garcia, the runner at first with two gone. And right back to the mound. Fires over to first. And Simeon is out. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. Six innings in the books on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Top of inning number seven. And now for the Twins, Alex Kirilov. There's a strike. Pretty amazing. His first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball at the letters, throws him for strike three. And now the center fielder, Byron Buxton. And that's in there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And that just misses. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. Foul ball there. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time, gives him the ability. To... Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there. To... Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. Now, the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Well, these Rangers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Whips it to Kirilov, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. And first offering is fouled off. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. There's a swing and a drive. That's going back. Back some more. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Buxton returns it to the infield, and the potential go-ahead run stops at second base. 
Man at second with one away. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. Bullpen action for the Twins. Tyler Malley up and throwing. Paddock getting loose as well. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a ball popped up. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Fires to the plate. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. Rocco Baldelli out of the dump. Pitching change here, Tyler Malley. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Carter, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. On the ground a second, might be two. Over to Correa for one, over to first, safe. And now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Laoti Tavares. This to third, Polanco. They take the force out. That ends the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. This is MLB The Show's Game of the Week. The eighth inning is coming your way next. We're at the top of the eighth. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. On the outside corner, strike one. The ball D into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball. This ball well hit. Left center field, and that splits the gap. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Ripped on a line. Tavares pulls that one down, and there's one down. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. And fouled off. Ripped down the line. Way back there. It's got a chance, and it is foul. Foul ball still 0-2 with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Here's the 0-2. Hit connect on the curve ball struck him out. And now it's Joey Gallo. And that clips the inside corner. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Polanco on its second with two down. Hey. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So one hit. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now Nathaniel Lowe. The wind of the pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. That's a scary one when it's riding up above the letters. Looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. Seeger now at the plate oh as he swings through strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Low, around second, headed for third. Correa with a relay throw, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. 
Everything came together for him. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. So digging in, Marcus Simeon. One for three. Swings and misses. Strike one. One out and a runner at second. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. The punch out there. Simeon down on strikes. Jonah Heim will hit next. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Runner at second, two down. That misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. Rangers get one on the RBI double. Last chance coming up for the Twins. We go to... the ninth here's Royce Lewis Evaldi back to work this one in the air right field puts the squeeze on it and there's one down and next for Minnesota number 47 first pitch and he just misses to the right side Simeon throws the first. Now only one out remaining. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Now at the plate, Byron Buxton. Pitches in there. That's strike one. Kirilov off the of first with two away. Next pitch downstairs, and it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball. Got him, and that's the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.